Hi everybody, so I have something really exciting to show you. This is DJI's A2 multi-rotor flight controller and autopilot system. The A2 is their new flagship professional flight controller that replaces their high-end Wukong system. It's brand new. My dealer doesn't even list them as in stock yet, and I got my hands on this one. Let's see what's in this box. So as usual, the packaging is very nice. DJI always does a good job with that. But since this is the most expensive multi-rotor thing I've ever purchased, I'm more interested in what's inside. First you'll find the IMU, and the flight controller and receiver, and then the LED Bluetooth unit. The pieces are very nice. They're, they seem a little heavy, but they're metal cased, so I guess they've got more RF shielding than their previous units. The flight controller is interesting because this is DJI's first unit with a built-in receiver. This unit has two CAN bus ports on one side, and under the antennas it also has ports for Spectrum satellite receivers. The Bluetooth LED unit is super nice. I guess it's a lot brighter than previous units, and it has Bluetooth wireless capability built in. This top box must have accessories in it. Oh, it's got lots of loose parts. Okay, well the first thing that looks like a standoff for the GPS unit. That's a tall one. A USB cable. You can never have too many of these. Uh, this looks like it's lots of parts for the GPS unit and standoff. Let's see. So a couple more standoffs of various sizes. And the aluminum base. 3M tape, the stickiest tape known to man. Line stickers that are in every DJI package. Nobody knows what they're for. A CAN bus extension cord and a couple of servo extension cords. Next is the power management unit. It's a nice little unit, pretty typical of their latest stuff. On one side it's got an XT60 plug to get power from your batteries, a CAN bus plug, and a regular JRRC plug. Now here's an interesting part. This is a brand new GPS unit, unlike the other GPS units in their line. Wow, it's much larger. It's got a cable with a CAN bus plug on one side and a hub in the middle. Looks like the cord also has a ferrite choke in the middle of it to suppress any external RF interference. So here's a comparison of the new GPS Compass Pro. You can see it's much larger than the regular GPS compass that comes with the NASA. So I'll do a quick tabletop wiring setup before I install it into my hexacopter. Start with the receiver and take the power management unit. Plug the CAN bus cable into CAN bus number two. Then take the JR cable and plug it into the other side in port X1. Then take the IMU and plug it into CAN bus port number one on the flight controller. Next is the GPS, and that plugs into the CAN bus hub on the IMU cable. And last is the LED Bluetooth unit. That plugs into the CAN bus port on the power management unit. So this first video was just an overview of what came in the box and an initial wiring setup. 
I'll be doing more videos soon to show installation on my hexacopter, setting up the onboard receiver, some software configuration, and setting up a wireless iPad ground control station with the new DJI Bluetooth Wireless Data Link module.